set to go down. Both teams want to get off to a good start. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Sebastian. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Play is blown dead with the offside. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Miller's one possession. Here's a short pass to DeBrusque. Big play inside the defensive zone. Feeds the puck to Eric Sinek. Simple glove save by Demko. Covers it up and will get a stoppage in play. The Canucks win the draw on their own end. Zuccarello's on the attack in the offensive zone. The Canucks take it across the blue line. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. They go on the attack through center. Shot! Gets a piece of it and will play on. Moves it quickly over to Hughes. Miller's got it in the offensive zone. And that's intercepted by Kukrizov. Still keeps a hold of the puck. Moves it to Faber. Nice zone entry from the right side. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Scooped up along the wall by Zuccarello. Kicks off the pass. Puck picked up by Pedersen. Grabs control of it at the point. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Hartman. Strong's got control of the puck in the corner. Gustafson's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Rossi's won the draw inside his own end. With the stop. Takes the puck along the boards. Stops him again! And the sequence of saves, I love how he's strong he is in his set position here, James. You can see that he gets scared of the shooter, and that makes the second save easier. Taken by Spurgeon. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. Takes the feed. Oh, what a close save! Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Still looking for our first goal. The Canucks win the draw. Handles the pass. Oh, he caught him in the open ice! In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. The Canucks move the puck in the defensive zone. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. Slides the puck down low. And it's a quick pass to Myers. No room for that one to get through. Craig Reed with the stick. Slides it across to Foligno. On the attack along the boards. Here's a chance. And that's blocked in traffic. Merrill's determination on the puck, even though he stumbled and has a lack of balance, really shows right there, James, as he finds a way to get that pass through to the shooter. Gaudreau's looking to make something happen here in the corner. Pumped away from danger. And he takes the pass. Quick shot! Oh, stick save and a beaut! Quick feed to Pedersen. Big time save and goal as he gets all of it with the stick. Moves the puck. Shot! And that's broken up. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. And he's knocked off the puck there. Zuccarello's walking the line. Takes the feed. Gains the zone from the right. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Slides it across. Unloads from the blue line. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Oh, just a textbook hit. Fires it on net. And that one's turned away. Slides the puck over. Pinned up along the boards. Sends it in front. And that's stopped. Oh, smart heads of play to put that one away. Oh, you gotta love the effort as he blocks that. They've really got him on their heels here now. And here's the punishes. He scores! 
so many ebbs and flows in a playoff series, James. You want to make sure that you get on the board first. Well, mission accomplished here. Right away, they're dictating pace. The Canucks jump out to a 1-0 lead here, and they have been the better team, I'd say, through the better part of this first period here, Cheryl. Yeah, they really have, and I feel like they've settled into the game nicely, James, and they've had good possession time, and they get rewarded there by capitalizing on the opportunity, but I really feel that these next few shifts are really important. You're the back half of the first period. You just scored. you got to find a way to continue to push. Into the offensive zone. Puts it on there. Such an athletic goaltender. Now he slides it up to Middleton. And they come up with it as the puck skips out. And he takes the feed. Quick pass across to Rossi. My goodness, this has been a pressure-filled shift here. Save made by the keeper. And they go the other way as they clear the zone. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Here's a shot! Block the save! Puck grab by Spurgeon. Quick pass to Rossi. Middleton stick handling in his own zone. Takes a lot but still hangs on. And now he tries to get it across to Johansson. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Anytime you're in the dying minutes of a period, you have to maintain your focus, especially when you're shorthanded. It's all about creating some momentum and killing the penalty. Man advantage unit is set. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the set up and the look they're looking for. Strong feed from along the boards. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. He's got a little jump. He's in the clear. Stones him on the breakaway. We're going to face off after the puck stays coming up. Another big face off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Take possession, sneaking in off the wing. Pedersen's gonna play it from the back of the cage. Shuts him down. Gustafson's gonna hang on for a whistle. Trennan's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. The Canucks win the draw. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Passes it over. There's another stop. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Bank pass off the boards. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Gets the puck in deep. Sends it over to Besser. From the right side, they gain the zone. Here's a short pass to Hironic. Vancouver's on the attack. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Coming close. The man advantage is over. James, the PK was a specialty team that I actually played on, and the good aggressive habits there, and it leads to the kill. Dropped. 
Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Gustafson's performance was outstanding in the first 20 minutes. I mean, he got shelled. He's got to be exhausted, James. This team needs to pick it up in front of him if they want to stay in this game. Passes the puck over. Oh, right hit to the opposition bench. And getting up close and personal with some people. I don't think he really wants to. Not a chance. I mean, he's over the boards here. And everyone's going to give him that extra shove, the extra mitball, if you will, and then get the heck off our bench. The Canucks have dominated in the shot department here early in the second, and they lead this one. Minnesota's won the draw. Moves it quickly over to Strong. doesn't go well. Denies him in front. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Lots of time left in this period. We got a one nothing game at this point. Rossi's won it in their own end. Keeps a hold of the puck. And now it's Capaldi. Good hit. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. The Canucks gain possession. Moves it to Strong. Sends it in deep. Quick feed to Spurgeon. From the right side, moves it up ahead. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Dishes it off. Stones him in front. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high-danger scoring chances eventually go in. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Erickson X won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Slides it quickly to Bogosian. And he coughs it up with the pass. Moves it over to Merrill. Good defensive effort to poke it away. The Canucks gain control of the puck against the wall. Sends the pass over. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. With some open space at center. Poked away at center by Bluger. The Canucks will play it in their own end. Quick pass to Holtlander. Sent into the offensive zone. Angles it over to Zuccarello. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. The Canucks have it against the wall. The Wild have it now. Minnesota's grabbed a hold of the puck. And that shot gets blocked by one of his own teammates. Nice defensive robbery on that. And he takes the feed. Whacks it into the offensive zone. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. And sends it just out of reach. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. Oh, Felino's yeah. lugging the puck. Chris won. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it. And it stays out of the net. Important task for the key players ahead of them. Up by one and a real opportunity to protect it. right in the shooting lane there. Demko's going to elect to slow things down a little and get the whistle. Well, he hasn't been really busy this period, James, but he's mentally focused, makes a nice save, and holds on for the whistle. Hartman's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. The Canucks take possession off the faceoff. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. 
Minnesota's got the puck. Through center. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Trying to get out of the defensive end. And he moves the puck across the blue line out of the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Faber. Oh, and he didn't get out of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. Moves it quickly over to Hartman. Puts it on there. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. And he maintains possession of the puck here. And the puck leaves the zone. Faber's got it in the defensive end. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. The Canucks get a hold of the puck under man. They get it out of the defensive end. The Canucks are back to even strength here. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out wide. Well, all those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older, and this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weave trying to find that puck. He does and makes a save. Past the midway mark of the frame, the Canucks lead it 1 0. Erickson X gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Fires it! Gets in front of the shot! Oh, he got cuddled by Demko! I absolutely love this save, James. I mean, the shooter's at a point-blank range right in that low slot, and it's just taken away. Grand larceny. And now he moves it quickly to Pedersen. Centering pass! And that shot's blocked! Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Vancouver's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. Minnesota's won the defensive zone draw. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. oldie has got the puck in his own zone. Moves it to Rossi. Blocked from someone in front. And he moves it up to the brush. Oh, smart heads up, Reed. Levels him with the hit. Vancouver's crossed the line and on the attack. Poked away in the offensive end. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Receives the pass. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. stages of this period. Vancouver's ahead, 1-0. Bluger's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Hoaglander. Shot! Scores! And they strike Peter once again. Yeah, they do. And their opponents down on their heels are deflated. they got to find a way to continue with the pressure, be relentless, and try and get another one. The goaltender, he's going to want this one back, James. I thought that he was set to position. Just the blast of the shot, it hit him. He got a good chunk of it, but it went in. You can see the frustration in the body language. Against the coach is salty behind the bench right now. You can just see his whole demeanor is negative because he's not impressed with the way his team is playing. You know, it's been a lackluster effort. They didn't come ready to play. They weren't prepared. Vancouver's dialed in here tonight. Now up by two in this second period. Well, sometimes you can see and you can feel the energy of a team, and that's exactly what's happening right throughout the lineup right now. Goaltending all the way down the ice into the offensive zone. I mean, they have just put on the clinic in terms of their shots. They're finding the way to get pucks through to the net, and to be truthful, I'm surprised they only have two. Minnesota's got it from behind the net. Avoids the poke check. Quick feed to Boyd. And he keeps possession. Odd man rush. Turns it over. And he gets in front of that one-timer. Taken along the wall by Bulger. Grabs the puck. The Canucks play the puck from the back of the net. Gustafson's been doing everything he can from the perspective of a goaltender. And he's been tracking the puck. He's had his rebound control. He's doing everything to give his team an opportunity. They're not holding up their end of the bargain. 
in the final moments of this period. Vancouver's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Kick pass to Myers. And he takes the dish. And the long range shot goes off target. Minnesota's got it across the line. Slides it across. Can't make the play, and the puck leaves the zone. Here's a short pass to Faber. And that's knocked away. Big save just as time runs out. The Canucks came into this one with one thought on mind. Lots of pucks to the net, and they continue to lead here late in the second. A blast! Well, there you go, 40 minutes in the books. All right, friends, go grab yourself some water, get hydrated, and then buckle up, because we got an exciting third period coming up in moments. Fans, we'd like to draw your attention to the far part of the arena. Coaches have shared their final messages. Players are on the ice, and period number three is coming up. Here we go. Third period is officially underway. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now play. How do you view this one? Minnesota's going to have to outwork the goaltender here, James. I really like their play in the offensive zone. They've driven the paint. They found ways to get the puck to net. They just haven't solved the riddle of the goaltender. They're going to have to get some net front presence and take away the eyes if they want to put it in. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Here's a shot. Oh, he gets in front of that to make a great save. Huge steal in his own end. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Slouches him into the boards. He's a power forward, and part of his game is delivery and executing hits. No, he certainly did there. Vancouver's have been on a roll offensively tonight, and they lead it here early in this third period. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. The Canucks carry it along the wall. Vancouver's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Gustafson's got it, and the officials blow the play down. Well, this is a smart play. He's been dialed in all night and recognizes that he doesn't want his team to make any mistakes. The safe play sometimes is to hold on. Rossi's won the draw here in the defensive zone. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Rocks him on the play. Gains the zone through the middle. And that's off the stick. Takes a shot. Gives him nothing in front. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. We're still in the early stages of this period. 2 0 is where we sit. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. As a defender, you love when your goaltender has this kind of rebound control. It makes your life so much easier. Handles the puck. Scrum ensues along the boards. And it's freed up over to his teammate with a nice kick pass. Now you might call that friendly fire as it goes off one of his teammates. Shot! Denies him with the save. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. And that won't go. Oh, it's still out! It's still out! What a save! Well, that's all real, and this is going to elevate his team. No question about it, James. I mean, it was all but in him, and he comes from nowhere to make that save. Now a quick pass to Polino. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Well, goaltender has to be able to anticipate the play, and he does just that. Gets square to the shooter in the low spot and makes the save. Well, that was a 10 bell save. We're going to get to watch it again here on the replay, James. But man, oh man, when you find the puck like that and you have the instincts and urgency and the desperation to attack it, that is one heck of a save. Still lots of time left in the period. Vancouver's got a 2 0 lead. And off the draw, they win possession. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. And 
the puck skips away after that move. Besser's known for his creativity, and he tries one too many moves there, and he loses the puck. Coming to the slot, and he gets in the lane to block that. And now it's grabbed by Besser. Moves it quickly over to Myers, and he loses control here. And a great save! This is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. Vancouver's motor has been non-stop tonight. Lots of shots on net, and they lead in the third. Erickson X won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Big time stop there. Up along the wing. And he sends it across to Sucarello. Shot! Oh! He just got enough of that to keep it out! Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Minnesota's won the draw, no goal to Oh, and that's just up the side of the oh, This is a product of the game being so fast. James just wants to get rid of it and fires it wide. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Here in the back half of this period, and it's a 2 nothing hockey game. Won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. Moves it to favor. To the low side. Oh, hard miss from there. Well, this is a tough miss, James. I think he might have rushed it or even panicked a little bit. Typically, he's going to put the shot on target, but instead, he misses. It's a low scoring affair out there, and not for the lack of entertainment and high quality Whoa! chances. the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. Vancouver's performance tonight still showing no signs of let up here in this third period. Well, they've had such an impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. Pucks the way to stay on the attack. Quick feed to Holtlander. Slides it over to Eric Sanek. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Poked away in the neutral zone by Eriksson Ek. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Into the attacking area from the left side. Sends a pass over. And that's knocked away. Quick feed to Faber. Minnesota's through center and now in the offensive end. Takes the feed. Moves it to Sprong. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Holdy's taking it from his own end. Loses the coverage there. Rossi's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. These are typically easy calls for officials to make as the opponent goes falling to the ice at the hands of your stick. Tough one to take. Minnesota's power play unit puts their stop. hard hats on as they go back to work. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. The Canucks will play it for the defensive zone. Nice job to escape the zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Getting a little physical out there, but still holds on to the puck. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. And now he angles it across to Goudreau. Takes the feed at the point. Makes the save with the trapper. Chance to reset here on the draw this man advantage. Minnesota's gonna start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Eriksson Ek. Picked 
off. Oh, a good textbook hit there. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Huge hit on the play. Power forwards drive lanes and they drive bodies, and that one's perfectly executed. Sliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Minnesota's got it in the defensive zone. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Cuts to the front. Oh, denies them with the paddle save. Vancouver's had a lot of success tonight on their scoring chances, and look at the result here late in this third period. Suitors won a big draw on their own end. Power play has expired. He's got a step. What a set he scores! That's how you finish the breakaway! Well, he breaks away from the path with his speed, James, and makes no mistake, very decisive, and puts it in the back of the net. Well, this is a redemption play here, James. He's sitting in the box, hoping that his team doesn't get scored on, and then he jumps out of the box and cashes in and converts for his team. Gotta love it. 200-foot play that winds up being the difference. Well, it's obvious that the coach is visibly frustrated after that last goal. I mean, they just keep deflating as this game goes on, and they can't figure out a way to get out of it. The coach has to pull some punches, make some adjustments to see if he can get his team back in it. Vancouver's added yet another one here to the total tonight. What a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. Quick pass to Foligno. Outside the save. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Here's a short pass to Myers. He carries the puck up along the wing. Nice poke check. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Here's a chance. Oh, what an even bigger save on the slapper. Vancouver's been putting lots of pucks on net all night long, and they continue to lead late in this third period. Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. Moves it quickly over to Pedersen. Moves the puck to Middleton. Can't get a hold of that pass. The Canucks gain possession along the wall. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Norris looks as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away and goes the other way. Oh, and he pops it perfectly in the offensive end. Moves it to Strong. The Canucks play it along the boards. Still has possession. Passes it over. Slides it diagonally to Heronic. From the neutral zone now. Quick feed to Besser. Slides it on over to DeBrus. Some good stick work to force that turnover. It is all. They lead in the series, a strong performance tonight. And to me, it really started between the pipes, but what an effort. Well, a collective effort, no question about it. I thought they were much better structurally in terms of how they defended, James, but it all comes back to the tender. When you can make 10 bell saves and really keep the puck to the outside and the rebound control, everyone knows you're dialed in. What a night. You gotta love the intensity of the playoffs, and we will see you down the road at the next game. It's playoff time, baby. Good night from all of us here at the A-Sport.